AI recently delivered a terrible blow to music making, and while music is not dead already, I'm afraid it might soon be. A bit of a dramatic, you say? Well, if I'm exaggerating, I'm not the only one. I can't open YouTube without seeing videos discussing the matter in really bleak terms. This miniseries is different. This video tells you what happened and what it means for all of us including those who couldn't care less about music. A second video discusses the perceived shortcomings of music-making AIs. The series ends with an alternative to the doom and gloom were presented elsewhere. Hello, Top Potters! This is Simon Mas, your friend with a master degree in music and a solution to a messy problem. But First things first, what happened? Why is everyone saying AI will be the death of music? It's not the first time people claim music is about to die. They said that when radio came on, and again when vinyls appeared, again with cassettes, CDs, online downloads, and yet music survived. So why is this time different? I'll show you. Let's go on Google, start our stopwatch and search for Suno. Let's click on the first link. As the website asks us to, let's make a song. I want a relaxing song about… potatoes. What style? Dixieland. Create. Again, I'll do it with Google. A little wait. And it's already creating two versions of our song. How long do you think it will take? Hmm, there's a title already. Potato Paradise? Okay. Here, after 19 seconds, less than one minute from the initial Google screen. Let's have a listen. I've spuds in the field growing all so fine, digging them up. They're a tasty fine mashed or fried. They'll never let you down. Potatoes all around. Let's check the other one. Out in the field. Growing oh so fine, digging them up, they're a tasty fine. I think you can hear it for yourself. The latest AI music making models released in the first quarter of 2024 are a game changer. You can finally get really decent results in seconds. You saw me using Suno, one of the AI models everyone is talking about. The music you get through it is impressive. It would make for possible jingles. I'm to go coffee. It's time to rise. Get your caffeine fixed. And open up those tired eyes. Or good background music. Be honest, isn't it as good as some of the music released through Spotify? If you don't agree, you soon will. How do I know? Let me show you something, because a picture is worth a thousand words. This is an AI-generated image dating April 2022. And this is an image generated using the same prompt with the same AI in April 2023. And this is what you can get today, in May 2024. What does that have to do with the alleged death of music? When people say music is dead, they don't mean everyone will stop playing. Music is just too much fun. Does that matter, though? After all, some people are still building their own furniture by hand, because they find it fun. The problem is that earning money is such a fundamental preoccupation, we are nothing short of obsessed with it. And AI will soon be able to create more music, more quickly and more cheaply than any human being. 
if it can't already. How can music making remain an economically viable activity then? Right now, as we speak, AI is destroying any commercial value of a lot of music businesses. Jingle writers and music library composers are already feeling the heat. And as for more glamorous business types, I think we might look back on 2023 as the last year when humans really dominated the music scene. I really think it could be that serious and that doesn't fill me with joy. It makes me feel apprehensive. That was Brian May, a guy who knows his music business, speaking to Guitar Player magazine in August 2023. The problem is not whether or not music is a pleasurable hobby. The problem is whether people will have the time to pursue that hobby. You might love making music, but if you're busy with something else to bring food on the table, and then start having family responsibilities, how much time can you honestly spend on it? Who can afford that luxury if it doesn't pay a dime? But after all, who cares about music and musicians? Damn pot smoking drug taking commies were never good for nothing to begin with. But when AIs will further improve, and they will, session musicians, music teachers, producers, sound engineers, arrangers, album cover artists, band photographers, music video directors, crews, editors, 99% of these people will never see a penny from music making again. How are they going to pay their bills while they look for another, maybe completely unrelated, occupation? If they can find one that pays as much as before, that is, how much money will they have for a dinner out with their families, or going to the cinema, or buying a new phone, a new car? In other words, if people have less money to pour into our consumerism-based economy, do you think the economy won't suffer? That's going to affect your job too. Even if AI remained confined to killing the livelihood of artsy types. Not so much to laugh about, right? So what? Should we all lay in the dark until the end comes? Not at all. In fact, you have a choice right now. You can check out this video, analyzing the main objection to the power of AIs and why I think that don't amount to much. Or you can delve into a non-musical discussion of a different future. One that is actually incredibly good for literally everyone. Make your choice. Leave me a comment with your thoughts and please, Consider subscribing to my Telegram channel for more music-related content. For the moment, stay cool and keep your top hat on. Bye!